This is Jory Curry with Ascend Training in Chicago and I'm going to do a demonstration in Adobe Photoshop CS5 Puppet Warp. Puppet Warp is a really fabulous feature that allows me to do some fine tuning that was very difficult before in Liquify. So the first thing I am going to do is duplicate my background layer and choose Edit Puppet Warp. Now the issue we're going to run into here is when I place these pins, because this is on the entire layer, you'll notice it's moving the whole image, which is really distracting and it's actually also warping his eyes a little bit, which I may or may not want. You'll notice I do have the expansion set to two pixels. That's going to give me a tighter effect and a tighter end result, which is good for this kind of example. <clears throat> But the first thing I actually want to do is isolate the area with a mask. That way I'm only affecting the area uh, that I'm trying to make the change to. So notice I simply clicked on the layer mask icon. You can see I now have just his mouth. So when I choose Edit Puppet Warp, I get this great little mesh that's sh really showing me specifically what I'm affecting. Now if I feel like I have too many of these pins, I can click on any one of these pins and just hit delete. What's also very nice is I can click on a pin and use the arrows on my keyboard to move them around a little bit. Anytime you move a pin, you are actually warping those, so be a little careful uh, about scooting these around. So you can see it's just a great way to get just a little bit different feeling. And when you're ready, you can hit return. And the problem I'm facing here is I've got a little bit of issues on the edge of my mask. So I'm going to click on my mask, grab a nice soft paintbrush. Notice I'm choosing a soft edge. And painting with black over the mask on the edges with 100% opacity is going to allow me to kind of make that a little more subtle, a little more realistic, and I might even widen it just a little by doing Command-T on the Mac, Control-T on the PC. So now we can see right away we've got a really nice effect. Now you may be saying to yourself, well Liquify was a good solution to this kind of thing. So I'm going to duplicate my background layer once again, and let's just take a look at Liquify. So once I go into Liquify, you've got a whole bunch of choices here. Uh, I've got my forward warp. Now you can see Liquify is really a little more fluid than Puppet Warp. Am I getting a similar result? Yes, but it's really more of a painterly style. And if this is the look you're going for, then you know you're all set. But um, you know, I can do a twirl clockwise on the edge of his smile also if I like. Uh, but to be honest with you, in this particular situation, I think puppet warp is the way to go and you're gonna have much better results. So you can see the liquify, he looks a little little freaky, but the Puppet Warp looks pretty natural and is a great new feature to Adobe Photoshop CS5. So again, this is Jory Curry with Ascend Training in Chicago. Thanks for watching.